Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Yareli and I am starting all over again with this video. Good thing I didn't get too far because I was filming in slow motion. That has never happened to me before, but hey, there's a first time for everything. Um, with that being said, I do think I'm coming down with some kind of a head cold or something. Um, people at work have family members who are sick. So I don't know if it's all in my head or if I'm actually coming down with something. Crossing my fingers, hopefully it's nothing. Um, I have just taken a dose of my cough syrup of choice. So I really need to get through this before I start sounding loopy. Um, a couple of things though before I do get started is that if you are watching this when I plan for this to go live, which is on Friday the 21st, I am filming on Thursday the 22nd at night. Um, I am planning on going live on Saturday the 22nd on YouTube. Okay, so I'm planning on going live on Saturday unless, you know, I'm like really sick, which I hope I'm not. And I'm going to be doing some planner surgery, guys. <laughs> um, if, let me show you. Okay, if you started watching me in 2020, then you've seen this guy before. Okay, this is a notebook that I have inserted monthly tabs and calendars from another Erin Condren planner, and I just inserted them here. So this is one of the surgeries I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to take another notebook that I have, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut out the month from another planner and insert it into a notebook so that's one the other thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to be adding pages to my actual budget um, notebook that i'm using for 2022 these um monthly planners from erin condren come with i think six pages or so here in between the months but um that's not enough for me especially on the months that have more than four paychecks. Um, so I need to insert pages in between the months on this one. Also, um, this is the only budget book that I am using. The Elevated Life Code that I showed you guys before, I just decided that that wasn't for me and wasn't gonna work for me. And I didn't wanna have two big notebooks because I know that I will, I, I know that this one works for me. So instead of letting that one go to waste, um, it has been sent off to uh, its new home. So anyways, guys, on Saturday, planner surgery, we're gonna do this one and we're gonna, well, not this one, but we're gonna do this style on a different one and then we're gonna modify this one. So if you are interested and you wanna hang out with me on Saturday, um, come and hang out with me on Saturday. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me zoom you in. So, okay, so my income this week, uh, minus tithe is gonna be $645. And then for the past couple weeks, guys, you guys know that things have been tight over here because um, my husband is looking for a job. He hasn't uh, landed one quite yet, but I have been cutting back on the amount that we put in our cash envelopes. And also I have really reduced the amount of sinking funds that we have been funding. So we have a rollover that I am going to put here. Okay, we've had a rollover the past two weeks and that totals up to $520. The total for these two is gonna be $1,165. So on my video that I posted on Wednesday, my plan with me for the month of February, I listed out all of my February bills and the amounts that they all are, and I totaled it all up, and that total was $2,019. Um, <clears throat> the two paychecks that my husband did receive in January, I, I just transferred those over to the account that we keep for next month's bills. Um, I hope that's not confusing. So I have an account for February bills and I put his paychecks after paying tithing, I put what was left into that account. So the amount that we need to reach $2,019 to cover all of our February bills is $233. All right. So once I put this in there, then we're covered. All of our bills for February are covered. We'll be able to pay them all. So we're gonna do that just so that I'm not thinking about February anymore. And then also, since I'm not stuffing my car maintenance um, envelope right now, I don't wanna take any money out of it because I have a placeholder in there and then if I take money out of the account, it's just gonna mess everything up. So I'm just going to, from my paycheck, um, pay the oil change 
that my husband got last week and that was $52 okay so 233 plus $52 is gonna be $285 so now we take $285 subtract it from the total income that we have up here and that is going to leave us with $880 and now we are going to fill in um, the cash envelopes that we are stuffing Okay, so these are the cash envelopes that we are stuffing this week and we are doing 100 in groceries, 10 for my husband, 20 for my son, $10 in date nights, $40 for gas, $10 in eat out, nothing in childcare, and then $10 for myself. So if we add all of these up, that is gonna be $200. And now we take $200 minus the leftover that we have up here and it's gonna leave us with $680 Okay, so we have $680 to work with and now we go up here to the sinking fund section and um, The only one that I'm going to stuff is for our anniversary And that gets five dollars every week, okay? So now the total for sinking funds is going to be five dollars because that's the only one we're stuffing. And let me zoom you back out. All right, so we have six hundred and eighty dollars left over, and we're going to subtract five dollars from that, and that's going to leave us with six hundred and seventy-five dollars. We're not doing anything towards extra debt. We're not doing anything towards extra savings. Again, that is because my husband is still looking for a job, and I want to make sure that we have money to cover our four walls. Um, yeah, so that's that. So now we have $675 left over in our rollover. So then next week when I do my budget, I will do my income and then the rollover amount will be $675. I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this here is a printable budget tracker from the budget mom. I ordered the printable version so I have the PDF and that is where this is from I really like it a lot but once my husband starts working and we're able to fund all of our sinking funds again this this is not gonna work for us especially because this bill section is pretty large and we like to pay our bills um, all at once well I like to pay our bills all at once and that is right at the beginning of the month so I don't need them all listed out like this um, I list them out once and that's in my monthly budget and then all of my weekly budgets will just say February bills right so for the month of February well in the month of February I'll start listing out my March bills and and my line item will then say March bills so anyways with all of that being said that is why I'm doing the planner surgery and adding pages to my other budget books because once my husband starts working, I don't know how much I'm going to be using this layout anymore um, because of how the spaces are in each category. Anyways, that's whatever. So this is what we're doing today. I am going to stuff our cash envelopes um, with $200 and I'm going to put $5 in our um, anniversary fund. So let me get set up for that. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to feel a little bit out of breath and I haven't felt like this since I was pregnant, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. So in prop money, we just have $5 because I use prop money in our sinking fund envelopes. And then for cash, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. so let's get going my husband is going to get ten dollars so he has 10 20 and 30 dollars my son is gonna get twenty dollars you guys he had his four month checked up this week and I'm gonna get so emotional him is growing so big so fast he is 27 inches long, he's a tall boy, <laughs> and he is um, 18 pounds, 15 ounces. He's a chunky one. He's a chunky one. 
So date nights is getting $10. So this has $20, $30, 40 $55. You guys, I'm not one, like, I don't like to go to the movies very much because if I don't like the movie, then I'm upset that I spent so much money. You know what I mean? <laughs> is anybody else like that? Like, and then like, I like to know spoilers. Like, I need to know, I need to know because it's just so expensive and I don't wanna go and then not like the movie, right? So I I don't really like going to movies. My husband loves going to movies, but anyway, date night. That new Jennifer Lopez and Maluma movie that's coming out, like I wanna see that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to hold on to that until we can go watch that movie. All right, so a gas is getting $40, 20, 40. So this now has 20, 40, 60, 85 dollars. Oh, that's good, okay. Eat out gets ten dollars, and that's all it has in there. Child care is not getting anything, and I am getting ten dollars, and that's in two fives. So I have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one dollars. All right, that's it for this binder. The rest of this cash should be $100 for our groceries. 20, 40, 60, 80, $100. And that will go in my wallet for our groceries, okay? So all we're left now is $5 for this. Um, anniversary fund. So this has 100, 5, 10, 15, $115 for our anniversary. All right, friends, that is it for today. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying healthy. Again, I am planning on going live on Saturday, which is tomorrow, hopefully, when you're watching this, if you're watching this on the day that I want this to go up on January 22nd to modify those um, notebooks and planners. Uh, come join me if you have any questions about your planners or how to do any of it. Like, I love talking planners. I love talking budgets and I love talking planners. So come hang out if you can and, um, if not, that's okay. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.